It's a special pleasure to join you at this service to offer thanksgiving to the Almighty God on the first anniversary of the government of my dear brother, His Excellency Go Governor Hope Uzodima, the great Hope himself. I also bring you the very warm personal greetings and felicitations of Mr. President, President Muhammadu Buhari. The Yoruba say that only a person who is capable of deep thought will take time to express gratitude and to offer thanksgiving to God. This is a state with a population of close to 5 million people. And since the state was created in 1976, there have been only 16 governors. And you, Governor Hope Uzodima, are one of them, the 16th. Since 1999, there have been only six elected governors, and you are one of them. Some may say that you are here because you are the smartest. Yes, you are smart, but I know you know that being the smartest doesn't mean that you'll get here. Solomon, the wisest man who ever lived, said in Ecclesiastes 9 verse 11, he said, the race is not to the swift, nor the battle to the strong, nor bread to the wise, nor riches to men of understanding, nor favor to men of skill, but time and chance happen to them all. But who controls time and chance? It is the Almighty God. So you are here today by the grace of God. And so my brother, life is alone, and public office is a loan of even shorter tenor. If you want God to have a hand in it, let me refer you to a scripture. It's the first Samuel chapter 2 verse 30, where God said, those who honor me I will honor, and those who despise me shall be lightly esteemed, end of quote. This is a promise that God makes. He says that he will honor those who honor him. You know, he doesn't make the same promise about mercy or blessings. As for mercy, he says that it's discretionary. I'll have mercy on whom I'll have mercy. As for blessings, he says he can give it to whoever he pleases, even the good and the evil. He says I can cause it, the sun to shine and, it, and I can cause rain to fall on the good and the evil alike. So blessings are also discretionary. But he says concerning those who honor him, that he will honor them in return. So how can we honor God in public service? It's by serving the people faithfully. Serving the people is honoring God who gave you the opportunity. Morning shows the day, and you have started very well indeed. We've heard so many things that have happened in the past one year. Your administration has invested extensively in construction, several road projects. I'm told almost 42, 46 different road projects so far. And the rehabilitation and reconstruction of educational and health institutions, as well as markets. His administration is currently taking a number of measures aimed at restoring power supply to rural communities and increasing power supply to urban areas as well. I know that you've also issued an executive order reducing the right of way charges for telecoms companies laying uh, broadband infrastructure. This bodes well for the emergence of the use of technology and an innovative economy in this state. I understand that, there are only if, that these are just a few of the initiatives that this administration is undertaking. And I'm told that this year's budget has been tagged a budget of wealth creation. This theme is apt because we recognize that our major challenge as a nation is that of creating enough wealth and opportunities to meet the expectations of our very fast-growing population. This theme also gives an insight into your focus and orientation. Very well done indeed. Finally, let me end with another piece of advice. There are at least three possible forms of opposition to a government. Three possible forms of opposition to a government. One is political opposition. The second is time. And the third is the leader himself. When the leader is discouraged, 
or distracted. But the most critical factor is you, the leader, how you deal with time, how you deal with political opposition will determine success or failure. Don't look back, be focused, stay on track. Finally, let me say that despite the challenges that our nation faces, by the grace of God, we, the Nigerian people, are more than able to surmount these challenges. In Numbers 13, in the Bible, we are told of the story of the spies that Moses sent to go and spy out the promised land, which was then occupied by giants and enemies. The majority of the spies said, when they came back to report to Moses, they said, we cannot take over the land. This land that God has promised us is too difficult to take over. It's a land that swallows up its inhabitants. And there are man-killing giants everywhere. But Joshua and Caleb had a different spirit. They said, these giants are just bread for us. Let us go up at once and take possession, for we are well able to overcome them. So I say to you, the people of Imo State, and the great people of Nigeria, yes, we have work to do. Yes, we have much to repair, but we are undaunted. The problems that we see today are the stepping stones to our great future. We are, by the grace of God, mightier than our challenges. Your Excellency, on the first anniversary of your administration, as I join you in giving thanks to God for one good year in office, let me also offer my favorite prayer to you. That prayer is contained in Deuteronomy 33, verse 25. As your days, so shall your strength. As your days, so shall your physical strength. With every passing day, so shall your mental strength. With every passing day, you will increase in understanding, you will increase in wisdom, and you will increase in favor with the Almighty God. God will give you strength to meet every new challenge, and it will be well with you. Happy anniversary, Imo State. Happy anniversary to all of us. God bless you.